Hello, my lights. Welcome back to Tarot by Cherie. We're going to get started right away on this reading as soon as I stop fumbling with my cards. <laughs> and here we go. Also, guys, if you want a reading, I'm offering a $15 reading. You can just click on the word Aquarian. There's instructions there right under the video. And let's get started. All right. So some of you don't know what's coming, but you have this victory on the way. How exciting is this, guys? You're moving into new waters, and there's something you're doing. You have one foot in the door and one foot out of the door, but this decision that you're in the process of making is bringing this victory into you, and this has something to do with this wish fulfillment you've had for a very long time, okay, that you've secretly held very possessively to your heart for many years, it looks like, and this is going to come to fruition for you awesome all right that sounds exciting all right somebody is looking at their life in a totally different manner today they woke up they decided they're starting fresh they're starting clean i'm seeing this new beginning okay so you're leaving this stuckness behind just by making this decision okay you you thought about it and you said no more no more stuckness i'm moving on from stuckness and here you are with this brand new slate, this new beginning, looking forward to a lot of celebration and happiness, which I see coming for you, okay? And I'm picking up on a personality here who is who is feeling this right now. And this person is very mellow. Um, this person doesn't sweat the small stuff. This person is um, good-hearted, loyal, giving, loving, and people just love you, okay? And I'm seeing this Ace of Wands here coming in for you too. This is a pat on the back from Spirit. This is Spirit telling you that they have your back, but not only that, but the things that are coming into your life now with your new cycle, which are going to be positive things for you, are going to continue to flourish, meaning it's going to get better and better. Not it, everything that's coming in for you. And there's a lot. Trust me, okay? There's a whole slew of things, good things, coming in for your betterment. Bringing in the sun, guys. The sun is one of the most positive cards in the deck. It's happiness on steroids, okay? It's doors opening and all kinds of positive things and only positive things. And you're going to get mental clarity on this, all right? It took you to walk away from something. You got strong finally and walked away from something that has been eating at you, pulling at your soul, bringing you down and confusing you. Now you're an independent, um, I want to say a, a manifesting ninja. You're independent. Now that you don't have this thing in your life that's dragging you down and pulling you down, you are, you know, pulling in all this great stuff. I'm seeing money all around you. I'm seeing, you know, um, stability and independence. You're an animal lover, it looks like. You're a nature lover, lover. And I'm also seeing like abundance all around you. All right. So the positivity is bringing in abundance and it's, it's the law of the universe, guys. If you're looking at life in a positive way, okay, you're able to manifest quite easily because you're raising your vibration in tune with the universe and able to manifest. So here I'm seeing, well, they're showing some, um, yeah, somebody's kind of going through some emotions here this morning, okay, over something. Um, I'm not seeing what it is, but um, they're saying that you need to get some rest and you need to do some healing from whatever has been causing this, okay? I'm seeing inner conflict and some kind of feeling of um, like you're defensive, okay? So obviously something happened and put you in this frame of mind. And now they're saying you need to do some healing, okay? Um, and, you know, it looks like maybe you have to free yourself from something that's causing this. I don't know what this is, but, you know, <clears throat> freeing yourself is going to bring in uh, a whole host of stability, mental stability, physical uh, uh, well-being, a feeling of physical well-being, and just overall positive vibes and it's going to raise your vibration all right so here i'm seeing um you know somebody is making this decision this is a very difficult one because i'm seeing you 
um, you're standing here, you have the world in your hand. So this is very important, whatever this is to you. Um, the significance of holding the world while you're deciding between two things. You know if you make the wrong decision, it's it's not going to be good for you. It's going to be quite traumatic and it's going to harm you in some way. You are... You don't want to feel this regret. So you're so you're being so careful about making the right decision with this because you could end up feeling regretful and alone. So this decision, you know, is something that um, you have to kind of take your time on with this. Don't rush this. OK, um, seeing this younger person in this picture here too, this intelligent younger person. Um, I'm seeing this person again here next to this broken heart and I'm also seeing um, something being manifested here and this is financial okay so someone is wanting to come in and give you um, it looks like money okay over here in the middle I'm seeing um, some kind of um, toxicity or depression or something not good here right in the center of this reading okay so I feel as though some of you are, are just you're doing something that is not healthy for you you're doing something that is not good for you all right and it's causing some um, mental issues some problems mentally here okay so yeah, whatever this is, guys, you need to heal from this. You need to take a good hard look at what that is. If that's resonating, guys, this isn't for everybody, all right? It's for a, a, a certain person or possibly more than one person, all right? Here I'm seeing somebody is going through some experience with a lover. They feel that there's something underhanded or actually it's you it looks like you're trying to sneak away from love. Okay, so you have this person in your life who wants to give you their cup. They've, they've already arrived and you're feeling scared. Okay, so you, you're attracted to this person and you want this person in your life, but you're feeling afraid. So it's like you're trying to sneak away from falling in love so you don't get hurt because you've been carrying this burden regarding this past partner for so long whoever whoever this is resonating with you really need to heal from this past partner because bringing in these emotions is is to the next relationship is like punishing the next person who had nothing to do with what this person did okay not everybody is the same not every woman is the same not every man is the same okay People have thoughts of their own. They have their own levels of integrity and how they think about each other. Okay. So, you, you know, coming out of this frame of mind is just going to allow you to relax and enjoy, you know, being in love and enjoy all the things that come with it and the security of being in love instead of running away from it. Okay. It takes more energy to run away from it than it does to give into it, all right? And you're going to be happier once you give into it, okay? What's that saying? It's better to have um, loved and lost than to never have loved at all. Think about that, all right? And I'm seeing you over here. I'm seeing, picking up on this feminine over here who this person is, people absolutely love being around you. You have a great energy about you and you're giving and loving and you know people will often come to you for advice all right over here guys i'm seeing um i'm seeing love i'm seeing love somebody's coming in somebody's coming in to give you their cup you're seeing this person so i think this person has already arrived okay so this is a new person for some of you um someone who you're just starting to talk to you're just starting to um you know date and this person though is coming in with the new cycle so i have a feeling that this person is going to be vibrating on your level meaning that 
you know, um, they are operating with integrity in this lifetime. And, you know, the signs are there in the beginning. Guys, use your intuition, use discernment. If you're seeing red flags or you're uncomfortable or you're thinking something's off, that's not the person. That's not your person. That's someone you should shy away from. All right. The opposite would be, of course, you know, feeling comfortable and, and, you know, wanting to spend more time with this person, feeling like you've known them your whole life or her and feeling like you, you want to talk on the phone for hours and you're finding them extremely interesting. That's your person. Okay. And here I'm seeing this ace of cups, meaning that this relationship is going to bring so much happiness and joy to you. Okay. So again, this is something that's coming in with your new cycle. All right. This is going to be your justice and all right, I'm seeing something also being spiritually um, guided here, all right? Somebody is feeling stuck and lonely right now. I want to say this is a feminine. I want to say that you're highly emotional and you might be, um, you know, something more like an empath. Um, and that makes you extremely sensitive. You're sensitive to energy. You're sensitive to things that people might say to you or do. Um, and you like to spend a lot of time alone. Um, this is If this is you that I'm describing, then you are absolutely an empath. And maybe there's things going on that, that have been unexplainable to you. You might have felt different in school, you know, than the other kids. You might have felt, you know like nobody gets you, that is all um, the signature of an empath, okay? Well, you have good news coming into you, and this good news is going to be your justice, and this is divinely guided for you, okay? So this is spirit. Spirit is awakening all the empaths now. Um, you know, most of us are awake. We have a job to do here right now. We're helping people. We're helping people raise their uh, vibration, those that are lower vibrating and you know things of that nature so um if you're if you have any interest guys in getting into the field of um you know reiki or uh herbal medicine or anything like that you know chances are um you're becoming who you were always meant to be okay and you're just uh waking up to that or some of you have been awake to that for a long time. All right, I'm seeing defensiveness here. And I'm seeing something coming in very quickly for some of you. Um, it's this Ace of Pentacles, guys. All right, this is prosperity. This is a, a boatload of money, guys, okay? And we've been, you know, looking at this for a while now. I've been talking about this money. Now I'm seeing there has been defensiveness about money. Um, people are needing money. And here is this Ace of Pentacles coming in between the stability and the defensiveness. This money's popping in here and it's coming quickly now. They're saying it's coming quickly, it's moving fast, and you're going to have this money. You're going to have this money soon. You're going to be able to start building your money, all right? I've always said I, I felt like it's going to start trickling in and then it's going to just start coming in from different... Um, from different places, okay. So you might you might see it as like a a um, you know a government check coming in. Um, I don't really like that idea, but you know we got to take whatever we can get right now. Um, it might start as, as that, or it might not. I don't know, but it might come in as a little check here and there, and then it's going to grow. All right, and then we're going to start seeing. Everybody is going to have money. Everybody's going to be on the same playing field. There will be no more poor. There's going to be some great things happening um, on this earth. All right. We have a lot to look forward to. And I want you to get excited. I want you to be excited. I am not in charge of this. Don't shoot the messenger. Okay. I don't know a time factor on this. Some people want to know. Some people are getting angry. Well, we're waiting. You've been talking about this. I'm not, I'm, I'm talking about it, but it's coming through me from spirit. Okay. So I, you know, this is happening on God's time, not on mine. All right. I'm seeing that things are going to balance out. There's going to be a great balancing out. 
um, the, the veil is going to be lifting. So we're leaving this old paradigm behind us. Okay. Therefore, that's what this card is signifying. We're leaving the old behind us and we're going to use our intuition. Our intuition, guys, you guys are going to be blown away on how um, intense your intuition is going to become. Start using it now if you haven't in the past. Your intuition is, is mind-blowing as far as how powerful of a being you are. This is one of the things that this is a gift from God that was given to us that has been suppressed by different things. You're going to be finding out uh, more about that soon. And there's a lot of other things that you have that you're unaware of um, that you that make you special, okay? Extremely special. And here they're showing you have the world at your feet. This is opportunity, guys. You, you don't understand how much opportunity is out there because you're being told something else right now. Okay, just give it up, give it up to God and, you know, ha have this, get excited and have this faith and spirit because the most unbelievable things are coming. All right. And here I'm seeing, um, protection. There is protection, um, all around us right now. Lord knows we need it right now. Okay. It looks like the world is, you know, um, coming to an end. Uh, it, it's actually the opposite. God has his hand in things and he's turning the planet right side up. And that's how I would like you to perceive it. I don't want you living in fear. I don't want you being afraid. There's some crazy that's getting ready to happen. You've heard me talk about this. Those that watch my channel. All right. You're going to start seeing some craziness. All right. You think it was crazy before you have not seen crazy yet. All right. Here, they're recognizing that you're the star. This is how they view you. And you need to view yourself as this. Do not let people um, disrespect you or talk down to you. You know who you are. You're a child of God. You're a bright, white, powerful light. And you were made in God's image, okay? So you just don't know how powerful you are. But you're going to get a grip on that over the next few months. Okay. Um, here I'm seeing you guys are working hard. All right. And that hard work is going to be paying off for you because I'm seeing this offer again, this financial offer coming in. All right. And this is going to help with children as well. There's something here regarding children and single mothers. Okay. So this money is going to be very helpful. Um, single fathers, too okay let's not leave out single fathers all right so here i'm seeing the ten of pentacles in between um the tower moment is here between this ten of pentacles and this ten of cups okay and then i'm seeing people feeling left out in the cold and i'm seeing some kind of teamwork over here okay so what I'm making from this spread is amazing, guys, okay? What I'm seeing here is the people that, now this is, this is, this is incredible, okay? So what I'm seeing is the people are suffering here. The people are now having a tower moment, okay? You aquas are feeling left out in the cold, okay? But I think this is regarding many people, not just aquas. Um, because I know that a lot of people on the planet right now are feeling left out in the cold and having this tower moment, okay? Um, people are worried. They're scared. They're fearful, okay, uh, 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 of what's, you know, going on. But, but, okay, on the outside of this tower moment, and this is like, how do I explain this? This is like, this is like being, you're being protected, okay? So the tower moment is scrunched between all this love and all this money and celebration. So this is going to be the outcome. This is how we're feeling right now. But this is on the outside of what we're going through. This is surrounding us now. This is ready to pop. This is ready to happen. This is coming, okay? And the same thing here with this card, people feeling left out in the cold and mostly financially, all right? Um, this is also 
being protected around the outskirts of that card with teamwork working on you know how to bring in this money for everybody how to fix this huge problem that was created by you know you guys i hope you're not living under a rock i hope you know who created this whole debacle with the um you know the gas the energy prices the food you know i i hope that you're following something that is actually uh truthful it's hard to find anything truthful out there. Guys, this, this reading is getting long. I get it. I'm seeing a, a commitment and I'm seeing someone coming in really fast for you. I'm seeing strength and I'm seeing something ended. And now this commitment and this, 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 uh, you know, offer that's coming in quickly, um, carrying a lot of strength behind it from behind the scenes is coming to you. Okay. And I feel that that is help. That is help for everybody. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the reading and you take care.